Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's developments in the monster taming genre. This week is pretty hype with the release of Temtem's 1.2 update, which brings forth Temtem Showdown, a brand new PAL world trailer showcasing some new PALs and new types that will be present within the game, a new key update for Doodle World, pretty big Digimon news in terms of Digimon Survive sales numbers, and Digimon World Next Order has its Steam page and more. So you guys know the drill by now. Sit back, relax, subscribe for daily monster taming videos, and let's dive in. Alright, so first things first, in case you didn't see yesterday's video, the PAL World developers put out a brand new trailer showcasing some of the new monsters present within the game. We did a sort of reaction slash breakdown video, which will be linked below, so I won't dwell on this too much. However, I do gotta say that the game's looking pretty cool so far. It does look like in terms of types, and even in some cases design philosophy, that there will be a lot of Pokemon parallels, but like I stated yesterday in how PAL World, while a game to be taken seriously as a unique monster taming experience, is also kind of a parody, or at least a critique on the the monster taming genre as a whole, more specifically Pokemon. That's why you see some of these crazy physics, or the pals eating each other, or them even getting shot up. The game is almost supposed to be a what if Pokemon existed in real life scenario. Anyways, check out that video and let me know what you think. The latest Temtem update should be live as of the time this video is going up, however, because I have to script and put together these videos before the day actually begins, as of the time I'm putting this together, we don't have any patch notes or too much information as to what the update will hold. However, we do know that there will be a new PvP scene Season that starts today as well as the Temtem Showdown simulator which will bring forth a new and easy way for players to enter the competitive scene without having to grind for PvP. If you don't know by now Temtem Showdown is essentially Pokemon Showdown but native to Temtem. I will be working on a video going over the update that will come out tomorrow morning so definitely stay tuned for that. Alright a couple pieces of Digimon news. First things first the Steam page for Digimon World Next Order is now up. Expect a video going over it in the near future but essentially we already know the game is coming to Steam and Nintendo Switch and from what I could tell the game is pretty much identical to the PS4 version. Also of note is that Digimon Survive crossed 500,000 sales, which while it might not sound like a whole lot in comparison to something like Pokemon, considering how niche a tactical RPG visual novel is, I think it did a pretty good job. I'd honestly be happy with them continuing this sort of format for future titles, and even if not, I'm hoping this emboldens them to continue to work on catering more content towards their Western audience as well. I've kind of been a little bit crazy about Digimon lately, especially after beating Survive, so this is definitely good news, because re-entering the franchise has been a nostalgia a trip for me. Serilum Ultimate is now out on Nintendo Switch, as we mentioned in our This Month in Monster Taming segment, which came out a few days ago. The game had released on Steam last year, with console ports being in development. We now have the game on mobile as well, and of course, Nintendo Switch. Serilum Ultimate, if you don't remember, is the monster taming dungeon crawler with like a bajillion different things from a massive pool of monsters to fusion to tons of achievements, customization, etc, etc, etc. If you guys have been following my channel, you've heard the spiel. So if you are playing the game, let me know if you're enjoying it. All right, as is the usual for the second half of our Monster Tamer news segment, we're headed into the rapid fire news where we go over updates that don't require a lot of explaining. First things first, the Dokimon developer has confirmed that the Mon Tamer Maker beta will be releasing on December 9th. The Cassette Beast devs put out a Steam log going over the various type elements within the game. Stay tuned because I have a video planned talking about it. The latest Doodle World update is live and brings forth the next key and some new areas to explore. I'm thinking after we finish our Dragon Quest Treasures playthrough, when it pops in a few days, we'll bring back the Doodle World one. We got a type chart reveal for Tales of Tenario, indicating the game has 20 types. Here we have a new monster for Zokai, a new Mon for Fog World, a new Gremlin for Gremlin's Tale, the Anode Heart developer actually put out a little teaser on Twitter of what's to come with their contribution in the Monster Taming Direct. Here we see that you can add custom wallpapers and floors to Moonstone Island. We got a gym leader Ed NPC in Ova Magica as the quest to get myself inserted into every single Mon game continues. And finally, last but not least, we got a look at the map pinning process in Disc Creatures World. And there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Another solid week in the genre. I'm especially excited that Digimon's doing so well. And like I said, I'm really hoping that they take even larger larger steps to appealing more to their Western audience. Bring some of those games that never came to the West, cough, cough, Digimon Adventure PSP, cough, cough, and port them to Switch or PS4 or Xbox or whatever. Just give us more Digimon content. And there's so much that a lot of people missed out on. I feel like even simple ports would go a long way. All that being said, if you do want to stay up to date on monster taming news, definitely, like I said earlier, subscribe to my channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. Special thanks to our patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.